Hey, what's up Beeros And welcome to this new episode of La Grotte du Barbu. Today is episode 163, So Clever, first part. In this episode, we'll start to build the So Clever from Bloodborne, the famous video game for a friend of mine. And we will start to build it with 10 mm plywood and with foam. Let's do it! First, you need to print your blueprint on some paper. Stick them together and start cutting it to the right shape. I use mainly scissors and a scalpel to do this. The scalpel gives me ultra precise cuts and scissors give me the ability to make rounded shape easily. The main reason why I use scalpels is the price a few euros for a hundred blades and the ability to choose the profile of the blade. In intricate cutout like here, the perfect tool. But let's be real, there is no rule here. If the box cutter or blowtorch is your weapon of choice, so be it. This blueprint will be used for both materials, EVA foam for the cover and plywood for the structure. So I place the blueprint on the foam and trace it with a sharpie. This will be glued and painted, so no precaution here. We'll get back to it in a few, but here I make the mistake of not flipping the template while tracing the other side of the blade. I break the foam piece in two halves and start cutting the foam with my scalpel. I try to stay on a 90 degree angle and with a fresh new sharp blade. Now that the first part is cut, I flip it and use it to cut the opposite side. Instead of following the lines, I use the first cut part to cut directly into the second piece. Way easier to follow than a thin blue line on the black background. After finishing cutting the two sides of the blade, I cut the parts for the handle and as previously, I trace and cut them. Now that everything has been cut into the EVA foam, I take my blueprint and trim it to the shape of the support material, which would be plywood. I'm gonna use a 10 mm plywood scrap wide enough for this, so I spray glue on the template and glue it to the wood. And I'm starting cutting it with my cute bainsaw. First by breaking the boards into two parts. I added a tiny zero clearance board to my bainsaw for the intricate cuts to come. And I can start my precision cutting. And I must say I love this lemon bonzo, which gives me the ability to cut big curves and carve little details. You can achieve the same kind of result with a jigsaw, but with a lot more efforts and less cleaner than with the bonzo. Right now, the ideal tool for this job. I'm not a bonzo specialist by any means, but I'm getting better. A real treat to cut all these curves effortless. Now that the handle is cut, I'm gonna start cutting the support for the blade. The material here is some salvage plywood from an old flight case, so it should be strong enough to handle the EVA foam and give it strength and durability. As always with new tools, I'm becoming better every time I'm using the bandsaw. And my skills are getting better each time. Like in here with these lovely curves, cut quickly and precisely.
for all the cuts with a tight radius, I make relief cuts and then cut the, cut the curves so that the blade doesn't get stuck. Simple and super efficient technique. Cutting so many wood in my tiny flat makes quickly of a big mess. Foam and woodcut, dust, etc. So let's get cleaning it all. Now that my main structure is done, I drill a hole for the main pivot, as the weapon is supposed to be able to open and close. I'm not gonna make a complex system, just a pivot and a few holes with the dowel to keep it in place. After testing the main axis, I can drill the two series of holes to keep the blade open or closed. Before gluing, we have to sand it, but first, let's get rid of the blueprint. Now that everything is ready, we're gonna glue everything together. But first, trace the parts and glue them with some neoprene glue. Neoprene glue is a contact glue and some call it contact cement. It means you let it dry to the touch and then when you press both sides, it's stuck forever. For these big surfaces, contact cement is the ideal choice. And I'm starting assembling the first two parts before gluing the next two parts. The assembly can be tricky, so I place brush handles to separate temporarily the two parts to be glued. So then I can adjust and press it bit by bit, as this glue up is kind of delicate. I also glue foam blades element on both sides of the support material. It's trickier than I thought, as the foam doesn't let me glue it properly. Now that the blade is glued, let's do the handle by following the exact same principle. First put the glue and let it dry to the touch. And then assemble together the two parts delicately before gluing the next two parts. So this is the end of the first part of the build of the saw cleaver and right now the weapon kind of takes shape. I'm not really good at it but I love to use my bandsaw. I'm getting better and today I've learned a lot of, of things about how to work with EVE foam. Plenty of people, especially uh, if you're Ted Smith and uh, Prunish Props have amazing videos on how to work with EVA foam and I really encourage you to watch them. 
So this is the end of the first part and in the next video we will try to finish the weapon for the Halloween costume of Tempête Digital. So that's it for today. If you have any questions or insults, don't hesitate to contact me. You can use the email, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, leave some comment and of course subscribe to the channel. I put out a new video every week. That's it for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. See you next time. May the beard be with you.